Here's one I like to talk about now and then. When they talk about getting your bat on plane with the ball. I don't see the bat ever on plane with the ball. The ball's coming from the left side to the right side of my iPad here. And that bat, Justin Turner's bat, is a Ferris wheel toward the opposite field. So the ball's coming from pitcher to catcher, and the bat is the Ferris wheel that crosses the ball's path. It was never in line with the ball like the Ted Williams book. But what is also interesting is the lasering concept that we talk about in the course. His knob is lasering the ball. Right? There. Okay? And the barrel goes right through where the knob went. Okay? <clears throat> this is an outside pitch. And this is how you hit an outside pitch. You hit it to the opposite field. And the bat path, the Ferris wheel bat path, never is in line with the ball path. It's a cross. It's an intersection. Okay, something for you to chew on and think about. Okay, I jumped on late. Not sure if you showed my videos or not. I'll check later, but I feel like my son getting pushed with his hands because he is too early on his swing and therefore has to go get the ball instead of letting it come to him. The swing looks good in the cage when he's snapping. How do we fix timing issues? Okay. The stop part of the swing, whether you stop it or let it go, is where you hit the ball. And so you've got to get used to that spot right there. That's where I'm going to hit the ball. I'm not going to hit the ball out here. I'm not going to take my swing to the ball. Now we do that on off-speed pitches. I want to say accidentally, it's actually a, a somewhat good thing that you have that adjustability. We don't want to do it, but we have the ability to do it if we're early. We still always want to feel like we're going to hit the ball right there. If it's an outside pitch, right there. If it's a pitch down the middle, right there. And if it's an inside pitch, right there. So each one of these I'm hitting at the stop position. It's just that my body has turned me a little bit more for the inside position, inside pitch. But we don't ever want to go get the ball. So we've got to get a feeling that I'm generating force in my phone booth right here. And I'm not going to take my bat out to the ball, I'm going to swing right here every time. When my son was doing this, when we were learning, he, he got the swing really well, and then at some point he started going to get the ball instead so of letting the ball come to him, and I set, a ball, I set a tee right at the stop swing position, and I said, imagine there's a basketball on there, you can hit any part of that basketball, the outside, the inside, the bottom, the top, the middle, any part of it, right there. And that basketball covers a good part of the zone. So I said, Brandon, you're going to swing at the basketball every time you swing. You just don't swing until the ball gets there. So before the pitch, he could feel this. And he could feel that. And that's what he was going to do. So now he had a spot that he's timing the swing to. He's timing the swing to the basketball. Okay? And he's going to swing there every time. Outside, middle, in, every time. Just let the ball come to them. Okay? I believe that the, what I call the propeller, that video I showed you of Aaron, that's a perfect example 
of the stop swing spot where you hit the ball. Okay? I mentioned a good swing is a stop swing that doesn't stop. Those two feel identical to me. That and that. They're the same swing. I stopped this one. I did the same thing, but let it go on the other one. When you have that stop swing spot, you now have a spot that you're timing the ball to. Okay?